on SoapNet. Saturday, catch this week's Port Charles Marathon starting at 3.30 p.m., 12.30 Pacific. The man of her dreams. I love you so much. I love you too. And the man she's been dreaming about. I'm the one you've been waiting for you all of it. He told me that we belong together. You need to stay away from him. I can't get him off of my mind. May have more in common than she knows. Watch this week's Fort Charles Marathon, Saturday starting at 3.30 p.m., 12.30 Pacific on SoapNet. On the next so Take over there for a while. Obviously, you just don't quit, do you? Mm -mm. I don't know why you're here. I don't need you to protect me from my own blood. And when was he going to let you out of the cellar? He would have come back. Before or after you starved to death? He wouldn't have let that happen. But um, I am glad you two showed up when you did. Yeah, so are we. I, uh, I meant to ask you, what were you doing here in the, in the first place? You never did say. Uh, well, actually, we came here to tell you that we're getting married. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy for you, both of you. When's the big day? Well, that's kind of up to you. I mean, we'd like you to perform the ceremony. I can't. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I can't marry her. Dr. Reinsold, ICU. Dr. Russell, Reinsold, ICU. Since when do you start making house calls? You know me. Always dedicated, day or night. How reclusive. That's a nice thought, but I shouldn't just keep talking about that. I'd like to keep it in the trunk of my car. Maybe you should make a house call on that brother of yours. What is wrong with that boy anyway? Besides being my brother? Even that doesn't explain it. Rip the fire extinguisher right out of the wall. Yeah, I know. I was there. Well, whatever's wrong with him, you could bottle that kind of muscle, you'd make a million. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are, and in full regalia, so now what? Hold it. If you're suggesting what happened to Jack and to Victor's friend Abe out here was the result of an alien abduction... No, Doc, but we can't rule out anything. Oh, that's it. I'm out of No, here. you're not. No, you're not. I I'm not saying it's something from outer space. Well, at least we agree on that. Right. I think it's something much more diabolical. Like whatever it was turned Abe into a madman. Yeah, but now's the time. We have to find out exactly what happened out here. Lucy, the police have been all over these woods. I, I know, Doc, but something that those conventional kind of methods just aren't going to find. Oh, I'm going to hate myself for asking this, but just what kind of unconventional methods do you have in mind? We are going to summon the evil spirit. The truth. Come to me with you. Welcome home, my dear. This is This place is where nothing else matters. But you and me. Whatever you might want. I can give to you. You are. You know me, Olivia. I'm the one you've been waiting for you all along. Don't let him get to me. <laughs> Allison. Hi, it's me. Can you see me? 
Great. I'm going to uh, pick you up in a few minutes, okay? And can you please, please not tell Jamal about this? Okay. Thanks. Bye. You won't marry her. I'm really sorry. Yeah, but you said that you were really happy for us. Oh, Eve, I am happy for you. It's... This is a bad time for me. There's so much to do here. So am I. Come on. I can't lie to you, too. I can't marry you because of... my brother. I can't marry you because So, this is what? Witchcraft? Oh, I'm not a witch. You would know if I was a witch. Thank heaven for that. But, I like witches. They're my best friends are witches. You know, in fact, witches have gotten a really bad rap over the centuries. There's so many Lucy. witches, they... Lucy! Uh, I guess you kind of want to know what, what my plan is. That would help. Okay. Oh, 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 watch out. Don't move that. Don't move that. Leave it down there. Okay. This is not really a spell. What I'm trying to do is transcend to the astral plane where the evil spirits lurk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think the stranger card and the evil spirit may be one and the same. You know, you know that card that was in my deck? The one that Ian somehow got a hold of? Right. I think the stranger evil spirit somehow is lurking in these woods. And so I'm going to use the astral plane, also known as the other world, to become an evil spirit. That's the simplified version? Uh, yeah. But this stuff is just coming. You have to stand inside this circle. Why? Well, because if and when the evil spirit serves him or herself, I just don't want you to be susceptible to their power. Thanks, but I'll take my cue. No, I'm serious, Doc. This whole thing is a lot more diabolical than we can know. I'm not disputing that. It's just that while you're summoning and transcending and all that, I'm going to go have a look around. We're not far from where Victor and Abe were fishing, so you feel right here? Yeah, I'm, I'm not the one you need to worry about. I'm
for you. Wait until Libby left. Well, I'm not mistaken. Good, then I'll do all the talking. Here to make you an offer. Something just between you two. Well, there is no maybe. We are brothers. Which point does that mean anything to you, Chris? I really do want help. Yeah, well, I don't need your help. If I told you that maybe I could help you figure out what's wrong. What do I have to do? I just agree to be my own personal science experiment. Thanks for coming. Yeah, sure. It really wasn't that easy, though, because Jamal had all the stuff in the other shop. You didn't say anything to him, did you? No, no, I didn't. I, I told him that we were going to Wyndham's for the shopping. Uh, why did you bring me here? I have to show you something. In there? Yeah, no, I don't think so. This place has creeped me out, and I want to go. No, no, please, not yet. Look, remember that guy I told mm. you about? The one who's been watching you? Yeah, he brought me here. You went with Yeah, him. look, I just, I knew it would be okay for now. Come on. So what, what happened when he brought you here? He told me that we belonged there. Libby, this guy is a freak, and you need to stay away from him. I know, that's the problem. I don't think I can. I can't get him off of my mind. But you are in love with Jack. I know, and I don't know why this is happening. That's why I want to come here and tell him to leave me alone so I can stop thinking about him. Well, can you say restraining order? Look, I think we should just go to the police. No, station. no. We are going to do this my way. If you don't want to go in there, I'll go by myself. No, I'll go with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on. I'm coming. Allison, we were right here. Are you sure? I'm positive. How would your brother stop you from marrying Austin? Caleb and I are mirror images of each other. I look at him, I see myself. You are not your brother, Michael. He's every bit a part of me as I am him. Then the good in you is also in him. It's not enough. That's why I'm here. To try to help my brother rid the demons who drive him. Until I do that, I, I can't leave here and not, not for anything. I, I hope you understand. And there's nothing we can do to change your mind. I'm sorry, no. But I want you to know that they say a holy place is not truly blessed until it's been touched by love. Your love has brightened this darkness. I can't imagine being more blessed. There's nothing wrong. You're sick, Jack. You're spiking a fever. Yet you still have the strength to rip someone's head off with your bare hands, like you almost did mine. There's your explanation. Wait. That biker girl, Sam, she told me about your little run-in with her buddies, how you wiped them all out. Oh, I need a reason for that too, Chris. You know something's happening to you. And everybody can see it. Look, even if there was, why would I go to you? Because I'm your best bet about now. What's in it for you? Money. A lot of money. And before you say anything, I'll cut you in. I'm not interested. All right, fair enough. Don't want to do it for money. I respect that. But what about Libby? What about her? You're out of control, little brother. What happens if next time you lose it on her? Are you sure? Are you absolutely, positively sure she won't get hurt? Come on, Jack. I help you, and you help me. Isn't that what brothers do?
know, we could still get married without money. I wasn't thinking that. What do you think? The first time I saw Michael here, he was kneeling at that altar praying. And, and the sun was coming in through the stained glass windows, right on him, like God was smiling on him. Well, he probably was. But he was so at peace. And it hit me in that moment what a meaningful life he had. I mean, here he is, out in nowhere, and he has a more fulfilling life than anyone I've ever met. I mean, look at this place. He has worked so hard to make this place special, sacred. And now he has to deal with his brother. There is nothing we can do. No, no, no. Remember when he said that he couldn't imagine this place? Let's do it. Let's get married right here, tonight. Well, you really think I was just going to leave you alone here? For a... Tell me. Uh, you Ow, scared that, me. That hurt. Stop well, it. I am sorry you deserve it. Okay, okay, okay. Me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have scared you. But, Lucy, you have been babbling out here for quite a while. Babbling? That is chanting. I am a good chanter. Haven't you heard good Ch chanting, chanting before? Chanting. <gasps> Alas, to no avail. Come on, Lucy. You gave it your best shot. Can you get the hell out of here now? I knew it might have worked. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe there just isn't any evil spirit right here, out here tonight. Maybe. You have been under a lot of stress, and I think we should go, because I think we can ease you down now. Oh, so what, you think I'm uh, making this whole thing up? No, I didn't say that. Well, that's what it sounds like. There's something really weird going on here. Yeah, well, let's not visit the whole weird issue alone. Why? Well, what else happened? Well, nothing happened, actually. Then what? Jamal and I were talking to his cousin, Gary, you know, the, uh, assistant DA or detective, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what were you were talking about? Jack and the whole coming back from the dead thing. Oh, so you mean No, it. no, I, I covered it up. I just wanted to know, like, how it could happen. You want to know what she told us? <laughs> that we were talking about a zombie. Oh, so, so Jack a zombie now? Is that what you're trying to say? Libby, I don't know what Jack is. Jack is not a zombie. That is just stupid. Hey, there is something really wrong with him. So he's not feeling great. Big deal. Yeah, and who would after being buried alive? Oh. I can't believe you're saying that. Libby, you know it's true. Okay, and I'm sorry, but I really don't want to talk about this. And please, now come on. What is it? I don't know. Oh, it's amazing. It's really fun. Getting a needle ready. We can draw some blood. Why? Run some tests. Figure out what's wrong with you. Okay, isn't there some other way we could run these tests? Afraid not. Okay, okay. What if I told you what was really going on? Not what I already know. There's 
more than an opiate thing. I'm hungry all the time. I'm starving. And no matter how much I eat, I want more. Anything else? Yeah. I get this. What? I get this fun. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles, Tainted Love. On the next Port Charles, what could be more perfect than you marrying us right here? The only thing you have to do is say yes. It said it was harmless. Was it so harmless? Did you think it? Ah. Valley, it's all about Erica Kane and her world. On SoapNet, it's all about you. Coming up next is All My Children on SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you. Up next, it's All My Children, followed by One Life to Live and General Hospital, right here on SoapNet.